Oh, I couldn't grind out reviews. Uh, just recently, I did a video showing my frustration at trying to extract the raw files from a Canon pre-capture raw burst file. So if you know anything about the, some of the Canon cameras, they can do pre-capture where you half press a button, shut a button, and it starts filling the buffer up. And then when you press the button right down to take the photo, it'll actually save some of the images while you had the button half pressed. So if you were trying to catch a bird flying off a perch or something like that, you'd be half pressing, it'd be filling the buffer up. And as you press, when you see the bird move, it's caught the bird just before it moved. And you, you can get some great shots. But it puts it into one raw file. And then you have to extract the individual shots from that raw file. And then you'll have to use Canon's digital photo professional software. But it doesn't unpack all of the images in one go. You can tell it to extract that one image or you can extract a section of images but then you have to extract them individually from that section. And I was just saying that it seemed a bit silly and why can't Canon fix that? Which is fair enough. That's what something we have to put up with. But then I went and I'd done some pre-capture shots down at local nature reserve, catching some birds taking off, flying and such like. Came back, started up my digital photo professional and it doesn't work anymore. Now whether it's because I've just updated my graphics card drivers or Windows 11's done an update or who knows what, but click on it, it opens up, crashes and continuously does it. And I tried all the suggestions that you could possibly Google. I've uninstalled it, reinstalled it, removed certain folders, disconnect an external drive, everything. It still does the same. So I had to come to the conclusion that I'm going to have to use my little laptop, which it seems to be working on. But if I'd done a little bit more research and actually looked into it, there is another option. And what I'm going to show you now is what I found. We'll go on the computer, I'll show you where you get it from, what it does. Fair warning, it's still in early stages. Uh, part of it's classed as alpha. Others is work in progress. And uh, we will have a look. So I found this when I went searching for how to get Canon software to work. And I was putting how to uh, extract the rules if they didn't work and there was not a lot of answers but then I came to a reddit page and a user called random ginger 11 put that they created a simple UI Windows UI tool to extract images from raw raw burst mode files and, oh that's good um, look down at the comments and it's saying it's what's working great really cool thank you for this tool which I agree with it it, it does work so I had to go to a certain web page, and, it, and it's it's on GitHub, basically. And what it says, it's a simple GUI application that allows you to extract DNG files from a raw file containing a roll of raw images. Specifically, I developed this program for the use with Canon CR3 images created using raw burst mode on newer Canon cameras. Since Canon's digital photo professional software sort of sucks. I agree. That's what it wrote. Another piece of software actually does the conversion. It's called DNG Lab. And DNG Lab is by a user called Syntronics. Again, thank you to him as well. So what I'll do, I'll show you on screen how to get this, how to install it, and how it works. So let's get to the computer and have a look. So right, we have to go to this website here on GitHub. Uh, I'll put a link to it down in the description. Then we click on where it says code and we'll download this zip file. And I'll put it uh, somewhere on a computer and just let it download. Once it's downloaded, we go to where it is and it's just a zip file. So we'll uh, extract that zip file and it comes up with this folder. We go into this folder and then you've got this exe folder and then we click on the actual program and this is the box that we end up with now as I say it is work in progress so we have to 
make the best of what we can. And then in this thing, we we'll browse to where the DNG EXE lab is. So back to the original folder, back into XE, and then at the top, we should see that file, that XE file we need. Then we have to browse to where our the folder on the computer where the burst mode raw file is. So I'll just put it in this folder, you won't see it. And it'll put it in this box here. And if you've got more than one, there'll be a load. Then you can select all. We're just doing one. And then we have to select where you want the extracted files to go. So I've just created a folder called extracted. Leave everything else the same and hit begin extraction. Now you might get a number of these uh, open shell PowerShell boxes turn up. And we've got a maximum of five listed, so it'll only bring up five if you've run it. But each box will be doing one uh, burst file. So that raw burst file that's got all the images in will use one box. So if you've got ten, you know, you'll have to have ten of these boxes eventually. You'll know when it's finished is when this box disappears. You might get some warnings that can't prime the preview image and that sort of thing. But as again, say it's work in progress, so don't worry about it. So it will knock all these out, and as you can see, it's going through them. It doesn't seem to do them in any kind of order. I don't know, it stops. We're back to this. So then we can go and navigate to where we extracted them. Now, sometimes all these thumbnails might be the same, but don't worry, they are different images. So we'll click on the first one, and then we can scroll through them, and you'll see that all of them have been extracted. And as you can see, we're a uh, Kingfisher disappeared. And that's basically uh, how the program works. So that's a quick look at this raw burst mode extractor that uh, this uh, person has created. I wish I was as clever as these people. Uh, it's amazing what can be done. Let's say you just download it and give it a go. Obviously it's a work in progress and hopefully some updates will uh, slowly work its way through and I mean it works. It does what it says on the tin, basically, and that's what you're, all you need, really. No looking about. We don't have to try and extract one for, one at a time in the Canon software. Just put it all in here. They're all extracted, and there you are. You've got all your DNGs, which you can put into any program, whereas Canon's raw files sometimes, some programs don't like. But, yeah, I think it's excellent. I think they're doing a fantastic job creating this, and it helps everybody out. So give it a go. Any questions, just put them in the comments below and I'll see if I can answer them. I'll say I've only used it a couple of times so far, but it seems to be, yeah, reliable and easy to use. So if you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. That helps the channel. If you want to see more videos like this, hit that subscribe button. Till next time, see you later.